Hey what's up everyone, it's been a while I know but I'm back with another tutorial. My name is Vio Motion, and let's just get right into this tutorial. Today I wanted to create a tutorial about this uh, sort of 3D text effect. There's like a really cool um, trill behind it, sort of a delay effect. It's really smooth as you can see and it looks great in a lot of different situations and motion designs. I'm gonna explain how to do uh, two very simple variations. Uh, the first one with just a regular text and then one with an outline. It's also very easy, just takes like two more steps I think. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm gonna create a new composition and I'm just going to set these settings to 920 by 1080p. Let's just set the frame rate to 30, that's fine. Press OK. I'm gonna start by selecting the text tool and just typing in some text i'm just gonna use uh, text again and i'm gonna use the align window to center it uh, if it doesn't show up for you go to window and then just click on the line and it should pop up uh, then we're gonna click on the arrow of the text and i'm gonna click on animate and enable per 3d character i'm going to click on animate again and then on the position and we're gonna set the third uh, thing of the position to minus two seven zero zero then we're gonna open up the range selector we're gonna open up advanced and we're gonna set the shape to ramp up i'm gonna set ease high to minus 50 and then set ease low to 100 this will create this very smooth movement which you can see later uh, we're gonna set the offset to minus 100 and then place a keyframe and we're gonna move up a second and then just set it to 100 and this is the very smooth movement really nice really cool and yes you can apply motion blur to this but it just doesn't give the right effect it just doesn't give the effect that we want we want like a harsh 3d trill not just the, the smooth motion blur so we're gonna disable it again so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an effect called echo so just let's type in echo in the effects panel and just drag it on there and you can sort of see what it does already it creates some sort of a delay on the text but it's just not close to the text and there's still a lot of spacing between the echo so to fix that we're gonna go to the echo time and type in minus 0 0.001 uh, that should do the job and we're gonna set the number of echoes to 50 so there's like a thick layer of delays and yes if it goes really fast um, let's just find the right frame where you can see this clearly yes there is some sort of a delay that's because when the movement is really fast um, 0 0.001 seconds is still like a fraction of the animation so there will be some sort of a delay you can't help that but um, the animation just goes by like so fast you can see the difference if you're just looking at it you'll have to go like frame by frame if you want to notice that stuff so never mind what you can do is you can always um, even make this uh, echo time even smaller that will create even closer distances between each echo and maybe increase the number of echoes as well to make it look even smoother but that's just kind of unnecessary because you will not notice the difference and your render times will only go up and then for the outline one we're going to duplicate this because why not use the same text and we are going to pre-composition this so we're going to right click the text to pre-comp and let's just click ok um, i don't think this option will even be available for you guys so if it does uh, show up just click the second option and press ok we're gonna select the thing again and right click and then go to layer styles and select stroke we're gonna select the stroke and just set the stroke color to white and we're gonna set this to like center or inside just personal preference doesn't really matter to be honest uh, and we're gonna open up the blending options then advanced blending and set the fill opacity to zero this is basically the same effect as in photoshop um, there's regular opacity and there's fill opacity fill opacity will only show the layer styles regular opacity will uh, basically show everything so we can close this again and yeah that's basically the effect so the only problem with this is that it will create an outline on the edge uh, to prevent this you can set the skill to like instead of 100 to like 100.1 or something that should do the job uh, let's put it a little bit bigger like just 100.5 or something that's fine and there we go that's uh, that's fixed too now yeah so that's basically how you create this really cool animation i've used this in my show reel i've used it in a few client projects as well it's a really cool simple effect and of course this is not the only animation you can use this effect on there's like a ton of other cool ways you can do like a cool slide up instead of a zoom in if you recreate this stuff uh, be sure to tag me and show me what you made and i will give you perhaps some feedback if you want um, be sure to like and subscribe all of that stuff you know the drill we're slowly on the way to like a thousand subscribers so that's great too thanks everyone for watching and i will see you in the next video